a few months after my first profession, I was given an uh, opportunity for me to go and study on business study with a program called Sisters Blended Value Project. It was something that I was happy about and I was looking forward to learn. The Sisters Blended Value Project started in 2021 when we were approached by Conrad Hilton Foundation and they asked us to do a baseline survey to talk to sisters to try and understand where they were with regards to their um, social missions and their charities, how they are able to meet the needs of their communities and their congregations, what successes they had, what challenges they had, what type of interventions they would, um, they would want. So from the baseline survey, we recommended four key areas. So the four key areas were around capacity development to do with social enterprises. And then we thought it was important as a second pillar to have networks. Then uh, the third pillar was uh, research or uh, data collection. The uh, fourth pillar, which uh, is very important, is the financial and services uh, pillar. Before I joined the Strathmore Social Enterprise Program, I didn't have much skills about the social enterprise and how to sustain it. I, I feel very proud to say that I was trained by Strathmore University. Uh, for me, even if it's a, a maybe a modules that were done in maybe eight months or so, I feel like I've learned for, for four years. It's like a, a master's. <laughs> because what I've learned and acquired has helped me to make a difference in, in my congregation. After the training, I got a business mind. I remember our cleaners used to tell us that some of you, you learn enterprises as charity. But after the training, we are no longer learning the banner from the farm as a charity. One of the things they told us was that we need to track our finances very, very uh, closely so that these social enterprises that we are doing are not just uh, saving our communities but also helping us to be sustainable. After Stratmore's uh, intervention and trainings, we created a spreadsheet where we can track our income and expenditures. And I'm happy to tell you that we were making maybe 20,000 in a month, now we can make 40 and 50,000 in a month. We have been able to learn and challenge when we were doing this course. I remember one facilitator who did a challenge dance. You only have one school, why not five schools? And that one have moved us out when it comes to the aspect of marketing. I was one of the sisters who were chosen to go to be trained in Strathamo University. I got the skills of looking for markets. I had made the hosts and they were there without a market. That's why I went. And then I said, let me look for the market. I see if I will get. But all that skill, I got it from Stratham University. We had some particles which we were cutting from those hosts. As we are trained, I thought of using also those parts to make them into something else than throwing them to the pigs. So, I came up with making flour out of them. So when they, everyone who tested they said, sister continue, sister continue. So as Dominican sisters, we picked on a, a boys school, Dominican uh, boys secondary school as a social enterprise. And uh, I feel for us it was timely that we picked on this school because we have seen the gap and the need in our society. And it's more urgent because we are seeing that the key places and positions in society are being taken by women. In our country, we've seen most of the young pilots are girls and what is happening to the boy child. Before having this school, we had these buildings which had, we didn't use it for anything. We built it for the purpose of having the transformation evening classes, but after Roofing the houses, the houses stayed here idle for almost 60 years. In the workshop is when we, we get that idea of having this pre and the primary school. 
after being advised by our mentors that we can inject small amount so that we can start something. So we started with nine children January this year. Up to June, we ended having 24 children. Our social enterprise, that is dragon fruit farming, our main objective is a sustainability of our congregation and its sustainability of the society. The project of the dragon fruit that we decided we as Nazareth sisters to begin is in, on the side of the social apostolate because of its effects to society. The dragon fruit itself is very rich in vitamins. It uh, promotes immunity and uh, the nutrients of the dragon fruit are very essential to human beings. After the presentation of their business plan and after the graduation, we got the good news that we had received seed fund. And we're excited with the seed fund. When we sit down now to say, this is what we're going to use this seed fund for. One, expansion of the farm, because it's a big land here, so we really need to utilize the land. Then we need storage, where to put our crops. We are very grateful to Conrad Hilton Foundation for the grant which they have given us. And this grant is going to help us to, 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 to increase our production, milk production especially, and then set up a demonstration farm. From the seed grant, we were able to purchase 25 hospital beds with their mattresses, 25 bedside lockers, and we were able also to repaint and buy the screens, all the curtains for privacy of the patients. We are so grateful to Conland Hilton Foundation because their input, their impact, they are put to us through learning what we have learned in Strathmore University Business School has really enlarged my learning about being a business person. As a religious, I never thought that uh, I would make to be a business person. It's something that was, was not in my mind. Even us who are not even farmers, who didn't even go for that training, we are getting that knowledge from them. They are sharing the knowledge. And uh, it has also helped us as a congregation to move from where we are, we were, to where we are now. Kwa hicho ndo kitu ambacho mpaka leo nimetutengenezea kitu kizuri cha mawasiliano tumeweka undugu nikikwama katika kazi yangu hata katika ufugaji katika hata ukulima wa mboga tunasaidiana kwa njia ya zile groups ambazo mmetuunganisha na Oma Sister I want to thank her so much Hilton Strathmore Mo University Akweka for the knowledge they gave me in order to see that I can come out of that. <laughs>